So what's up, YouTube? <clears throat> it's your homeboy, whatever, man. Just coming at you again. Uh, doing a follow-up video. This is my 2013 Camaro ZL1. Um, I had posted a video when I initially got it. You know, talking about this is what I got. Not sure what mods I'm going to do. So I've done a few things to my car. So I thought I'd do an update on my mods. I decided to mostly go, or not mostly. I pretty much went all cosmetic for now you know i don't know if i'll do performance mods later or not you can only do so much to these cars before you got to start replacing fuel pumps and fuel injectors and all that so um you know i don't know i don't know how much i want to spend and how far i want to go when it comes to that but just a couple of things just starting out you know i added this splitter on here from zl1 add-ons um you know nice splitter i liked it i got the thicker version of it it came with the rods well you had to pay for the rods but it all came together from zl1 add-ons had that put on there installed by j nutter designs here in columbus ohio thank you j nutter designs shout out to y'all for doing great work blacked out my ZL1 emblem or my Chevy emblem just with some carbon fiber wrap that I had laying around in the garage from another car. I think it looks good given, you know, the carbon fiber hood insert and everything. Purchased some Z Z28 wheels. Factory flow form Z28 wheels in matte black. 20 by 10 on the front, 20 by 11 on the rear. I reused my tires since they only had like 3,000 miles on them. Um, so I got the stock size 285, 35, 20 on the front, 305s on the back, 305, 35, 20 on the back. But added those on thought that was a nice addition you know what i mean i think it looks good i was gonna buy the chrome z28 wheels but decided not to ended up going with the black they were actually discontinued at least the forged ones were so i wasn't gonna go buy a big heavy ass you know chrome wheels to put on here um i did a muffler delete here on the back so just a muffler delete no full exhaust system you know it sounds better to me um i was doing it without the uh you know i've got the uh mild to wild on there which is basically the fuse pull for the for the exhaust that's supposed to open up the valves but it didn't make I couldn't hear no difference at all, to be honest with you. I mean, the, the difference was, it, it was minimal. It was there, but it was minimal. It sounds better with these, especially when I'm on the gas. It's not ridiculously loud like a straight pipe. Uh, but, you know, it sounds decent. When that's listening to it from a cold start... settles down a little bit still got a nice rumble it's not too loud it's actually quieter than that that's again my car has been sitting for like four days so real quick we pop on the inside bought some different carbon fiber accessories bought some red uh accent caps you know just to kind of accent the inside so i got carbon fiber here now got a ring down there around my speakers uh i got carbon fiber covers on my vents on both sides um i really liked this dash insert in here you know i purchased that 
Uh, but I, for these caps, um, I found these um, on the Facebook Marketplace, actually. Somebody who has sold their Camaro, kept their caps. Um, you know, so I picked them up for like a hundred bucks. Nice, you know, update to the to the interior here. Nice little accents. You know, it's the small things. You all bring it all together, you know. Um, but that's all the carbon fiber trimming I did. Some of these pieces, like this piece here, the ones on the doors, um, this one in the center here, those are all, you know, like a preformed plastic piece. Oh, and I got them here on my on my speakers as well. But uh, this here was basically a, a sticker that sticks on, you know, with carbon fiber trim. This one's a plastic piece too. This is a sticker. That's a sticker. The stuff wasn't cheap, but it looked good. It looks a hell of a lot better than stock, but I did end up afterwards finding that I could get this piece here, this here, in that same, you know, hard plastic, whatever it is, carbon fiber. So I might change to that in the future, and I'm gonna end up buying the, the carbon fiber cover for this, but um, for now, you know, just some small things to kind of bring out, you know, this nice clean interior with the Alcantara. You know, again, everything else back there is stock, but. Um, and I didn't want to go too overboard, you know, like they sell a cover for this. Well, why would I cover up that? I mean, if it once it wears out, which I'm sure it's going to wear out eventually, then maybe so. I had found one that was carbon fiber for this, but it was also in that sticker form and it doesn't fit the ZL1 wheel. It fits a regular wheel, but on the ZL1 wheel, the, the trim came all the way down here. And of course it's not gonna stick, you know, down there. Um, like I said, you know, just those were a couple of cheaper mods just to, to kind of do something to the interior without going like crazy haywire, you know what I mean? Um, I did put a wicker bill on the back also from ZL1 add-ons. I installed it myself. I've done wicker bills before, so I didn't mind, you know, doing it myself. Um, did my rear emblem. And then I bought these. Um, these are the spider. I think they're called the spider taillights. Um. You know, they're kind of like that Lamborghini shaped tail light. I didn't buy the sequential harness yet. I'm gonna go back and buy the sequential harness because I think it would look better. Kind of sweet, I like the sequential lights. But um, I got a really good deal on those. So I picked those up, installed them myself. Um, I did have to install resistors on the lines because they were doing the quick blink. So, and it pops up an error message on your dashboard when that happens. Best car club in the land, Street Predators. I'm a member of Street Predators Ohio, but we are a national car club. So check us out. You know, you might find out we're in your area. But yeah, you know, um, again, man, I love the wheels. Love the wheels. Nice upgrade. Again, I'm not, I'm not a fan of black wheels. I hate cleaning black wheels. And these Brembo's put out a ridiculous amount of brake dust. Um, but nonetheless, I got black wheels and they look really good on this car here. Especially given how much, you know, black trim is on here. Come under the hood just for a second. And I'll show you what I've done under here. So just stand back, take a look, you know. Um, got the ZL1 sticker from Fast Tech. I popped my hood at car shows, was looking for something there to fill in. Looks really great. I just figured out that I'm missing one of these bolt covers here, so I got to figure out what that part number is and order another one. But nonetheless, you know, a nice little dress up there. I put my cold air inductions, cold air intake on here. Um, People love this intake. It was a pain in the ass to put on here. This has to be in this position with this, 
you know, I didn't like the way the cord was on the mass airflow sensor at that angle, but if you don't put it in there like that, this will not seal. This will not <laughs> close down on here. It's it's like it was it's the worst cold air intake that I've ever put on a vehicle, and I've put several on different cars. Um I bought some billet caps from I got my caps from American Carcraft. Well, most of them. You know, they're they're polished and brushed carbon fiber, you know, on the inside of them. Uh, there's one under there for the wiper fluid. There's one back there, you know, for my master cylinder cover, radiator, um, oil. I went and got one of the dipstick covers. I ordered this off of Fast Tech, just a nice little billet dipstick cover. It goes on really easy uh, with a, um, with a, uh, like one of those torque bits or whatever. Got a fuse box cover. So when I bought my kit, my, my caps, it did not come with the cap for this. And I thought it did. And I thought it looked stupid to not have a cap on this one. Um, and it also came with a power steering cap, but this car has electronic power steering. So, um, I guess if you have a SS cause the, the kit fits both, you know, you'll need that. Um, but I got this fuse box cover here. Actually, real quick, I'll show you. I bought this one first. Um, I had to basically peel it off of there because it wouldn't stay stuck down all the way. Um, it look it looks good, but I think this giant you know whole cover piece here looks a whole lot better. Easy to put on. It just sticks right on top of it. You know, so it just sticks right on top. You can pull it off, take it off when you know whenever you want um <clears throat> same thing you know like this here i mean just comes right off these have some adhesive on the back of them but nonetheless if you need to take them off they pull off they go right back on um <clears throat> i also have bought these here the strut tower the strut tower covers so with the strut tower covers i mean when they're plain on there it's just like a plain bolt sticking out it's an eyesore car shows you know, so that's a cheap $50, $60 dress up for underneath your hood, you know, that you can use. But also, uh, this is what I really liked, the strut tower brakes. So I was going to take mine and get mine painted. But I went on eBay and I found somebody selling this one. And I mean, it's dope with the carbon fiber, you know, already inside the, the, the black here. And this isn't, well, I don't know what the hell it is. It's not a sticker, but... Man, I love that. And I can't find another one. I know they're out there. Like, this isn't... Even if this was a custom thing that somebody did, I've seen something similar on other cars. So I know they're out there. I don't know where people are getting these from. I couldn't find them for sale other than the one that I found, at least at the time, you know, there on eBay. Other stuff I might end up doing, man, you know, is, is kind of dressing up these pulleys, obviously. If you got one of these cars, you're going to replace your upper and your lower pulley. Um, you know, with the upgraded pulleys, that's what people do. It gives you more horsepower. You know, works out in the long run. Um, looks a hell of a lot better. <clears throat> but once you want any, pretty much anything else that I do to this car, I think I can upgrade my pulleys before I have to tune it. But anything after that, you're going to have to tune it. You're going to have to. Um, you know, even if I do long tube headers or something, I mean, eventually you're going to want to tune it anyway, but I'm just saying, you know, you have to tune it. You have to start upgrading injectors, ignition, um, fuel pumps, you know, uh, depending on how much horsepower you're going, then, you know, you got to start upgrading some of the internals in there. Uh, I've seen people upgrading intercoolers and adding ice water boxes and stuff. So, <clears throat> when it comes to mods, man, the mods for these cars start to get out of control. One thing that I do think looks ugly under here, I noticed my little red, <clears throat> my little red, you know, plus cover is missing. And they sell a piece that goes on top of that, this billet, you know, that you can put on there to make it look better. So, <clears throat> I will end up uh, probably doing that. And as far as billet and, you know, upgrading, uh, 
the pulleys for looks i'm pretty much done with looks you know what i mean um <clears throat> they sell man they got caps for this they got cat covers for that uh shit what's some of the other stuff that i've seen i think they sell a cover for this plug right here like these billet covers and stuff man they they get expensive man i you know there's a couple hundred bucks for all of these covers. Like, they're about, I spent about 300 350 something like that for all these different caps and the fuse box cover that's under there. I mean, you know, so this stuff isn't cheap. Um, but I thought the car looked incomplete without me adding those two extra covers, you know, over there for under the hood. But it's my car, man. That's what I've done to it so far. 2013 Camaro ZL1. Feel free to come in, share your mods, you know, talk more. Um, it's your homeboy, whatever man. Follow me on Instagram or Twitter at whatever man, W H A T E V A underscore man. Like my videos, comment, share, subscribe. I'm gone.